the, the most important bit, of course, of DevConf is not anything we're going to say in a moment. We might say about like some of the details of how we've run things and so on. But the most important bit of DevConf is the people who come, you lot. So please clap yourselves, not not us. So as far as I know, at least, this is the biggest DevConf we've had yet. Uh, we've got about 400 people. Well, we had a lot more people who at some point expressed interest, but about 400 people have actually turned up to DevConf, um, awesome. including, obviously, all of you. But that's a really good turnout. If you think there's 1,000 developers, then to get 400 people here is a pretty big achievement. Um, and I hope that it's been as productive for all of you as it could be. Um, Hopefully you recognize this by now, unless you've been drunk every time you came in and out of the building. Um, <laughs> Stand up if you were. <laughs> but yeah, this is the TV8 building where you currently are, if you've forgotten. Um, and it seems to have been a pretty good venue. So I guess it's pretty, they've been pretty um, friendly to us, letting us do things like shove cables out of windows, drilling holes in window frames for us, um, not caring when we make a big mess of their um, nice listed an ancient building, but yeah. So I'd like, I think we're pretty grateful to them. <laughs> so yeah, this, is, this year also of course featured the first appearance of an organ at DevConf. Um, <laughs> and really showed what Debian people can do when they're faced with a sort of a problem that everyone else has given up on um, for several decades, that Debian people can just come along, find the correct technical solution, even if it does involve some duct tape. Uh, so, and we're, it's again, it just shows all the, the unexpected talents you get of Debian people, that you, you know they can all sit around and chat an IRC all day, like half of you are doing now. Um, <laughs> But you don't really know that you're going to get someone coming out with a flute, someone coming out with a violin, someone else turning out to be a great organist, and so on. So it's just always great when you come together at DebConf that you see all these other sides of the people that you don't get, a, you don't get on the Debian lists or some flame war on Debian legal or whatever. <laughs> um, so this year also featured uh, Geeks on a Train. And, and geeks on a boat as well. Um, we still don't know if we lost anyone on the day trip, so please. <laughs> <laughs> if, if any of your friends have been strangely missing since the day trip, then maybe try giving them a phone call or something, and we can give them a map, like try and get someone out to Glasgow or whatever. But yeah, hopefully, I mean, maybe if not, then we'll just find that in a few years' time there's some great Debian community on the Isle of Boot, and <laughs> that's good as well. Oh yeah, and of course, yeah, we also managed to sample a bit of the local Scottish culture. Um, I, I saw a few of you seem to be sneaking off rather than dancing, but um, if you've got any longer in around in Edinburgh, I can hope that whether it's going to another Cayley dance or just getting around to see some of the more museums in the city and so on, I hope that you get, manage to see some of Edinburgh as well as just the inside of the TVIT. Um, and just before I hand over to Neil, I want to myself thank all the people who've been working very hard during, the, during DebConf Fair. Um, I'm really bad at remembering things, so I'm actually not going to try and name everyone. But you, you can see some of the people here. And basically, if you, anyone who has been working on this has done far more work than could reasonably be expected um, on far less sleep than is probably allowed under any laws. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's great at DebConf that we have all these people who are just volunteers, as on Debian itself. Um, and most of them don't necessarily well, for a lot of people, it's not really their thing as such to organize a conference. They're actually far rather be um, chatting IRC or building a package or whatever. But it's great to have people who can come together and just put in that effort into something that's really useful for the Debian community as a whole. Um, and I think, yeah, Neil was going to mention some of the sponsors we've had. Okay, well... Thank you again for everyone. Uh, I'd like to, in particular, thank our sponsors once again, because without them, this wouldn't be possible. Uh, so that's uh, HP, Nokia, Google, Positive Internet, Open Source Press, Collabra, uh, Linux Magazine, Trolltech, TK Server, Sun Microsystems, AMD64, O'Reilly, 
Ubuntu, UK Free Software Network, Spotify, Hands.com, Gandhi.net, uh, Sapotec, uh, MySQL, Black Hat Networks, Fryfunk.net, uh, Bytemark Hosting, Creditive, Context Shift, uh, Sirius, Mandia.d, uh, Untivision, Lin and Linux Professional Institute, and Siemens. So very much. We really do appreciate everything you do for us. Thank you very much. Now, there's a couple of uh, short announcements we have to make. Um, tonight, the building will be closing at 10 p.m. to make sure we can get rid of all the network that we've managed to sling through various windows. The night venue will open at that time, and it's also important to note that Teviot is not open tomorrow, so you need to make sure you take everything with you tonight. Um, we also would like various uh, reviews of all the talks you've been to see. You can do that through your Pentabarf interface. And if you have any comments about DebConf in general, the uh, address to send them to is debconf-discuss at lists.debconf.org. This will also be uh, linked off the main DebConf website. If, before you all go, um, I've had a request that everyone checks the, which rooms they're in tonight just to make sure that for the final night, no one gets confused. Also, anyone who still hasn't picked up their traveler's checks for travel sponsorship, you really, really need to do that now. And if you don't want to, thank you very much because DebCom's got some more money. <laughs> and while Phil is making some noise down there, I'll invite him up to talk about the, our uh, wonderful tartans, which, uh, which you've seen all week. One thing Neil forgot, while TVOT will be closed tomorrow, we still need people to clean up here, tear everything down. So if you want to help um, cleaning, please come to TVOT tomorrow. It will be open for cleaning, just not for hacking. Thanks. Hello. Uh, Yes, the Tartan. I expect all of you know most of the things about the Tartan uh, already. Uh, it's, I'd say that it um, just goes to show what a stupid idea and enthusiasm can, uh, can result in. Uh, it's, if you actually want to know the explanation about uh, why I came up with this, this design, um, the colour is mostly red, and if you're reasonably deranged, you can sort of look at this bit until it starts swelling. Uh, <laughs> Uh, if you know Morse, you'll notice that uh, this white line here is wider than that one, so that's a dash, dot, 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 dash, dot, dot, dot. That's uh, Debian in Morse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, obviously, it's mostly red because that's what our logo is like. Uh, the other colors are black, white, and yellow, which is the same colors as Tux. And... Uh, there are various explanations for the blue. Uh, one is that I like blue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one is that it's, uh, th this actual color is electric blue and we get nowhere without electricity. And uh, my favorite explanation is that it's uh, a reference to Captain Blue Eyes, the old deranged chicken logo. <laughs> 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 and and I, like the, I like the old deranged chicken logo. I voted for it, so. Uh, <laughs> Um, yeah, and I think we should really institute this as a, uh, a tradition so that in Argentina people turn up in kilts because it <laughs> will confuse the locals <laughs> deeply. They will go, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, I think that's enough for the, the tartan. If anybody else is interested in the tartan, it's not actually that expensive to make compared with other kil kilts. It's stupidly expensive, but it is not com compared with other kilts. So if a few of you get together, they will do another run of it. They make it to order, so you have to tell them to do it, and it costs 300 pounds for before they'll start. Uh, there is a wiki page. It's linked to from my blog. It's uh, one of the stupid uh, DevConf wiki extraordinarily long things, so I'm not going to tell you there. Um, look on the web, that's great. Uh, and there's loads of photos of people in skirts around uh, Edinburgh doing weird things for Debian. It's great. I like it. Enjoy. <laughs> Thank you.
Right. Hi. A um, lot of people thank me for the DEPCONF videos, and I've not done the videos alone, so I would like to ask the DEPCONF video team to stand up and wave so that everybody can say thanks to the video team. And uh, finally, uh, we hope to see you all in Argentina next year. So I'll hand over to Margaret for a quick chat about that one. Okay. Uh, so next year, DevConf will be in Argentina, the city of Mar del Plata. Uh, it's a lively city. It's not the capital, but uh, you have a lot of people around. The place where we are going to hold the, the conference. It's very much in the center of the city. This picture was taken in the summer, so don't get full <laughs> about the t-shirts. Uh, DevConf will be there in winter, so uh, the weather will be much similar to this weather here in Edinburgh. <laughs> So be sure you pack some warm stuff when you come to Argentina. We, we don't want to get any, <laughs> anyone with pneumonia. Uh, these are some pictures from the hotel. Uh, you can see the reception and the talk room. The hotel is very big. It has very big talk rooms. Uh, we are going to be able to accommodate like 800 people. So be sure you turn up for the confet. And uh, these are just some Argentinian hackers that are really willing to welcome you next year. And that's as much as I have to say. So we want to see you there. Be sure you book in advance so that your flights are cheaper. When is it? <laughs> So once again, thank you everyone for coming and I do hope to see you in Argentina. Um, I'll just leave you with this little tidbit uh, which will make Marga feel 100% better I'm sure, which is uh, those who like sausages and DevConfs should not look into the creation of either. Thank you very much, <laughs> Amy. <Jane and Demi. laughs>